Welcome to How to Record Partial PPP Loan Forgiveness in QuickBooks. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. And so I've gotten this question a lot. You know, I've, I've, I've made videos here of how to record uh, PPP loan forgiveness in QuickBooks, uh, where to move it uh, from a liability to an other non-taxable income account. Uh, and so I get the question a lot about uh, what if we just got partial forgiveness and what do we do with the interest expense? So that's what I'm going to go through in this video. Okay, so first thing is I'm going to pull up my balance sheet and just show you here. We have an example, or I've set up an example here. You'll see here we got a PPP loan of $75,000, okay? And this was way back, you know, months back. So let me pull up this spreadsheet I put together. We're going to say this original PPP loan, $75,000. Forgiveness amount, $65,000, and then there's interest of $122, so the amount we have to repay is $10,122. Uh, just the difference between the original PPP, the forgiveness amount, and then adding in the interest, okay? Now, you'll get uh, something from your bank. It depends on the bank. It could be a statement. It could be an email that should detail out uh, this information just to say, you know, they may have it in a little bit different format, but basically they're going to say, here was the original amount, here's the amount forgiven, and then here's the interest uh, that has accrued on this, okay? Uh, some kind of format uh, that you'll have showing this, okay? So we'll take this example, and let's go back over to QuickBooks, okay? So we now have to move, we have to move 65000 of this over to the other non-taxable income uh, account that we have set up on the profit and loss statement. So we will leave a balance of $10,000 and we also have to add in the $122 of interest. Okay. Now the easiest way to do this is going to be through a journal entry. All right. And journal entries get uh, pretty confusing for people if you're not familiar with them. So I want to walk through that now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to go up to the company drop down menu and you're going to see something here that says make general journal entries. All right. And usually journal entries are just used to move amounts between accounts. Uh, you can't always use the transfer uh, function. All right. So first thing we're going to say PPP loan. All right. That's the liability account. You can also hit the drop down box and look up the account that you want to use. So we'll say PPP loan. Okay. So in accounting, a liability is a credit balance. Okay. So to reduce it, we have to do the opposite, which is a debit. So we want to debit the PPP loan by $65,000. Okay. And then you can put in a memo here, you know, something to the effect of to record partial forgiveness of PPP loan. All right. Uh, you don't need a name. Uh, if you do class tracking, you're going to put in a class over here. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to record uh, this as the other uh, non-taxable income. And I'm going to hit the drop down box here. And we're going to go down to the other income amounts. And you'll see here non-taxable PPP loan forgiveness. All right. Now, this is important. And if you've seen my other videos, I'm going to repeat this a little bit here. <clears throat> but you want to make sure that you put this under other income so it's not part of revenue and you want to signify it by saying this is a non-taxable PPP loan forgiveness. That way uh, when your tax returns are prepared, uh, if you're preparing or someone else is preparing them, they know not to include this in taxable income. Okay, so the forgiveness amount becomes this non-taxable PPP loan forgiveness and a credit balance, it will be a credit balance for the same amount as the uh, forgiven amount that's a debit uh, because that was the amount forgiven. Okay, so we did those two things and took 65000 off of the balance sheet as a liability and moved it over to the profit and loss as non-taxable PPP loan forgiveness. All right, now the next thing we need to do, we're going to go ahead and record interest expense. Okay, now interest expense and uh, any expense is a debit when it's increased. Okay, so we're going to debit that for $122. And then to offset that, you want to go ahead and credit the PPP loan. Okay, so this decreased the PPP loan to $10,000, and this increases it to $10,122. Okay, so after you do this entry, you're done. All right, that's all you need to do. 
then we're going to hit save and close and we're going to go back to our balance sheet we're going to see here let me go back to my spreadsheet you'll see that the amount to repay 10,122 and so we show a liability 10,122 and if I go over to my profit and loss statement uh, let's go to reports company and financial profit and loss standard all right, if we go down to the bottom, you're going to see non-taxable PPP loan forgiveness, 65000 And if we go up under interest expense, you'll see it went to interest expense other, 122. And voila, you're done. All right, so this is the simple way, I say simple, going in and doing a journal entry, but simple way to record partial forgiveness of your PPP loan. If you have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Uh, also, head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org.